On January 4, 1970, with the 15 originally budgeted Saturn V rockets built, NASA decided to end production of further Saturn V rockets due to budget cuts. At the same time, NASA was forced to fire 50,000 people from its workforce of 190,000, which was already down from its 1966 high of 400,000. At this point, NASA had only landed on the moon twice, in Apollo 11 and 12, and still had Apollo 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17 to go over the next three years. The decision was made to reserve one Saturn V for the launch of the Skylab space station, and that left two already built Saturn Vs that eventually would not be used. This left the future of NASA up in the air, as the space shuttle program had not yet been approved that would take until 1972, so for two years NASA faced increasingly deep budget cuts and no planned future after the Skylab program. Saturn V is the only way human beings have ever left low Earth orbit and entered the sphere of influence of another celestial body. It did so at an approximate unit cost of $189 million at the time, which was about $1.3 billion in 2017. Most of what NASA spent on during the 1960s, of course, was developing the rocket and building the infrastructure for it, which is why the same launch pads 39A and 39B continue to be used for the Space Shuttle and now for SpaceX's Falcon rockets and NASA's own SLS, and of course, the vertical assembly building is still being used. From 1973 to the present though, there has been no budget to construct a payload that would have required Saturn V, and while it might have been the fiscally prudent thing to do, the cost of being more ambitious need not have matched the development highs of the Apollo program, and the long-term economic and social impact of cutting an immensely talented and successful workforce and marginalizing scientific and engineering pursuits has had far more costly impacts. In the end, it has left too many with the impression that the effort and cost borne in the 1960s was somehow frivolous. <laughs>